What's going on YouTube? My name is Jeans, bringing you guys more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're hopping back onto the ranked double ladder with the top team in the meta right now. This team was made by Aaron Trailer, the guy who actually won the Dallas Regionals. He dominated in that tournament and got first place. So guys, if you are hyped for today's video, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Also, I'm going to be leaving a link to all Aaron's socials in the description below, so you guys should go check them out. And I'm going to be leaving Wolfies as well because I believe he did help build this team with Aaron. Starting off on this squad, we have this G-Max Charizard. Like, come on. This is how you know this team's strong. It's rocking a G-Max Charizard. Like, come on. Come on, and he's also holding the berry to weaken rock damage. He's going to be dominating in this thing. Then we also have that Whimsicott and Togekiss as set up Pokemon with Tailwind, Charm, Fig Tears, and Moonblast on this Whimsicott. And Charm will lower the attack, and Fig Tears will lower the special defense. So if we play those right, we can absolutely dominate and just take out Pokemon. Then we have this Duraludon right here. Duraludon's a beast, another great special attacker with the Life Orb, with Draco Meteor and Flash Cannon for stab, and T Bolt for that coverage move. And then in our last two spots, we have this Calculator and Jelly Scent, which just rock out very, very strong. The Jelly Scent has Trick Room on it. We can use it to play a Trick Room, or we can use it to counter a Trick Room. It works well either way. And then the Conqueror, a Soul Fest with that Mock Punch for first turn priority, and all these coverage moves right here. Well, not coverage moves, stab moves. It's just dominating. It's just dominating. But guys, if you like to use this team for yourself, Rent the Code is at the bottom of the screen. I highly recommend it. This team is just taking over the meta. Everybody's using it, and everybody is pushing high ranks with it. Also, let me know for question of the day, what Pokemon would you guys like to see get a Gigantamax form that does not have it already? Like, I would love to see a Graplock get it. Like, Graplock would look so cool in a G-Max form. Just a giant octopus. Like, come on. But guys, let's hop onto these rank battles and try to get some wins with this team. Oh, no, not a Mudsdale team. You guys always know Mudsdale is like my arch nemesis right here. Like, I have so many struggles with this Mudsdale. But hopefully we can kind of counter him today. Who are we going to lead here? Who are we going to lead? Are we going to lead the Whimsicott Charizard just to get things rolling early on? I can see him going like Sableye Bronzong trying to get that Trick Room off. So I don't think Whimsicott is really the call here. Unless we just want to Charm Pokemon go into some fake tiers and all that. We could do that. That could be strong. I said we actually do that. I said we start off with the Whimsicott Charizard. Then we can bring that Cockadour in the back end with that, uh, with that Jelly Scent. I think that's a good call. I think it's solid. I think it's, I think it's solid to do. Let's do that. Let's go. Jelly Scent and Conkledor with that Charizard and the Whimscott. So Whimscott can be used in multiple ways. Like you can use her to set up Tailwinds. Like we're bringing her for kind of that Tailwind, but if they're trying to set up Trick Room, I will just not even go for the Tailwind. Fake Tier something, just start dominating out there. Done with some charms on this, on the physical attackers like Mudsail and all that, and just rolling in strong from there. But guys, if you want to catch more content from me, head to the link in the description below, Jeans25 on Twitch. You guys already know the deal. Come hang out with me. We stream four plus days every single week. Tons of fun. It's tons of fun. He's going to go um, Bronzong into... That Mimis, the Mimi Mimis. Who's rolling Trick Room? That's the question. They're both Trick Room Pokemon. Um, I am going to Dynamax turn one right here. Go G Max Wildfire. I mean, he could be swapping. Hold up. Let me look at his Pokies. Let me look at his Pokemon. He could be going into that Dale. I could totally see him going into that Dale. Uh, we're still going to D Max go into a G Max Wildfire. And ch 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 do I Charm? I am going to Charm over on the Mimikyu. I am going to drop his uh, physical attack. Just, just to kind of get him out the way. Let's see what he does. I think he's going to roll in. Someone's rolling a Trick Room, obviously. We're going to put this G-Max Wildfire out on the field. Get the burns going on everyone. Well, not the burns. Like, the trap. You guys know what I'm talking about. Look at this dude. I love the design of him. I love the design of G-Max Charizard. And he's just like the heart of this team. Absolutely dominated. Aaron was just unbelievable at the tournament. Like, if you guys haven't checked out him playing at the tournament, I think he went like, what was it? 10 and, uh, he went like 10 and 2 to win the tournament. Something along those lines. I know he was 8-2 when he went into the finals. He was just crushing it. But the charm's going to pop here. Drop the attack. I guess the Mimikyu is going for the... What's going on? The Mimikyu is going for the trick. Right, we're going to send out the G-Max Wildfire. Uh, ye nothing, basically. Basically no damage there. But we're going to get this little burn to pop out here. Nice little protect from him. Is that thing leftovers or what is it? He ooh, ooh, he's Whoa, weakness policy. Bronzong out here. Boosting his special attack. Trick Room's going to pop here. That's rather scary. Uh, I am going to... What am I going to do here? How am I going to play this one? Burns are going to pop. Do I go for a max guard? I could go for a max guard. Mm. Tricky situation here. Tricky situation here. I am going to max guard here. I am going to throw out the guard. And I am going to moon bless and take off the disguise of the Mimikyu. Because I think they're going to double into my Charizard. Try to get rid of him. I knew I should have just let the kiss. <laughs> I knew I should have just let the kiss. 
potentially put a yawn on a Pokemon and just go from there. But I kind of want to show off the Wimscott Charizard combo. And that is what I wanted to do. Like I said, there's like two different ways you can go with this squad. Like you can just outspeed and just take the speed control with the Wimscott Charizard lead. Or you can play it differently. Like say they're going for like follow me or like trick rooms and all that. Then the what's called is really good to go with the, the Raladon Togekiss combo. They're both very, very good. But the weakness policy did trigger from the Bronzong, so I'm rather scared of that. Let's see what happens. Shadow Sneak block. Show me the double block. That'd be huge. That'd be a nice play by me. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Nice read to go into that max guard. Kind of own up from there. Waste to turn to that trick room. And the Moonblast is going to take off the Mimikyu's disguise. We can keep rolling from there. Let's go, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Beautiful max guard. Beautiful. Nothing's better than when you when you protect your max guard. And you can just uh, soak up both hits. Especially when we got the G-Max Wildfire Flames going. Yeah. How much damage it does? That's nice pester damage. That's some huge pester damage. But we did waste our uh, thing. Right. Go here. Hmm. We could go fake tears. Um, I think that would just take it out. I say we just drop. We just drop this thing special defense. I think Moonblast could potentially take, but could charm it again. I mean, it's not gonna do too too much damage. I say we just Moonblast into the Mimikyu because it's already charmed, so it's minus two on the attack board, which is pretty nice. Shadow Sneak's gonna pop. See, it does like nothing. We kind of, we kind of. That thing's done for. <laughs> that thing's done for. So Mimikyu's out of here. How hard is this Bronzong gonna hit? Okay, we chilling. We chilling. This could potentially be a double kill here. This could potentially be a double kill. Our special defense does fall. We eat up those shots. This should do a lot of damage here. Yeah, it's gonna take him out. Bronzong gone. This uh, Mimikyu is gone as well, which is huge. Which is huge. But there's a nice little double kill. They still have the Trick Room, so I gotta watch out for the Dynamax right off the rip. I think I'm gonna set up a Tailwind before my Wimscott does go out here. Okay, the, the flames are going to take out the Mimikyu. But I think I, I am going to set up a Tailwind before we go out. Because once this Trick Room ends, we kind of want that speed advantage to roll out. Then we can start rolling from there. Let's get it, guys. Let's get it. I was currently ranked... You guys saw my last video. I showed off my uh, doubles rank in the singles video. We were ranked like 3,000 something. Then we had a tough little stream. Getting a little unlucky. We dropped down to like uh, like 7,000. And then when you don't play, you drop. I dropped like another 1,000. So right now we're sitting about 9,000. That's a little tough, but the Mudsdale does come out here. I kind of want to uh, drop that thing special defense huge. Like, hands down, I want to drop that thing special defense. Um, who's he going to D-Max? That's the question. I might go out in a Blast Burn before we roll out here. But I am totally going to protect. I am going to protect. Just try to waste turns of that trickery. And I am going to fake tier this. I am going to fake tier the Mudsdale. Just to drop its special defense and kind of get rolling from there. Like, my Conqueror can totally handle out that... Uh, that boy, that Duraldon, and he is slower, so the Trick Room can roll out. So he's going to go in next while the Trick Room is still rolling. We get his Fake Tears off, which is huge, which is huge. Fake Tears, yeah. Fake Tears drops the Special Defense by two. Dude, it's awesome. It is an awesome move. Who's he D-Maxing? Show me the... Is it going to be the Mudsdale? That would be huge. Hey, right, the Mudsdale is going to get it. That's fine by me, considering we are Fake Tearing that thing. But, ooh, my Jelly Sense should be able to do some work on it. But the Rocks does damage on Rocks. Gotta watch out for the Rocks. We could Strength Sap it. But I should Charm it, too. I should totally Charm it before we go. Protect. A little bit of Protect action. The only thing I gotta worry about is that boy right there. Who's he? Who are they going after? That's my question. Fake Tear comes off. I gotta see how much turns are left in the Trick Room. To decide. Rock Falls can come through. Bang. Little Charty Berry. Little Charty Berry action here. And the Protect. This should do nothing. This should do nothing. That still did a lot of damage. That still did a lot of damage. With a Protect and the Berry? Wow. That did a ton of damage for that much. T-Bolt's gonna pop here. We soak that one up. Beautiful. We're we'll wasting more turns here. How many turns is left in the Trick Room? The Buffets are gonna pop out. This is gonna be my last turn for my Charizard. My last turn for the Charizard. We should totally charm that Mudsdale. We should totally charm that Mudsdale. Drop its, uh... We should totally drop its attack. We should totally drop its attack. Let me see how many turns left in the Trick Room. One turn left in the Trick Room. Okay. Uh, Blast Burn, if we can get it off, over on the Duraldon. And then just charm this thing. To drop this thing's attack by two, before we actually have to swap out into our final two Pokemon. But a Mach Punch could be good. A Mach Punch could be good on that Duraldon. I wonder how much damage it's gonna do. But we're totally gonna outspeed the Mudsdale. But good thing we did lower its little bit of special defense. Before we do roll out, we're gonna charm it. So it's gonna be minus two on the attack board, and minus two on the special defense. Which is awesome, because my Jelly Sense should be able to do some work on it. This little charm. Wonderful. Bye-bye attack power. Steel Spike's gonna come into my Whimsy. Whimsy, eat it up, buddy. Yes, Charm helps us out hugely. I think he's doubling into my Whimscott because he knows the buff is gonna take out my Charizard. 
He's going to boost his defense. He is going to boost his defense. If we get another turn, I would love to get a Tailwind up. Let's see what's going to happen here. T-Bolt. Okay. That's chilling. That's chilling. He should just let the Buffets take it out. Now we can set up a Tailwind. Now we can set up a Tailwind. Go into a Drain Punch. That is, that is type nice. That is honestly type nice. We're just wasting these turns. Trick Room's gone. Tailwind's going to set up now. We're going to get this Conqueror in here as he is Assault Vested. Let's get it. Where do we go, Jelly Sun? No. We gotta, we're going to Drain Punch into that boy. Into the Duraldon. Do some work on him. We are Assault Vested. I think this could potentially take him out. We'll see. We'll see. With the Tailwind, we should be able to outspeed. So I'm going to set it up for the boys back home. Do I go into Close Combat? No. We'll save the Close Combat for that Mudsail. I kind of don't want to drop my defense so early on. But let's go. Tailwind here into the Drain Punch. Looking to get this win right off the bat. Looking good so far. Nice little start from us. From our Charizard Whimsicott. Like I said, there was probably a better option. I just wanted to show off the G-Max Charizard and Whimsicott in the first battle. But let's see. What is this guy going to do? Is he going to protect? That would be smart. I, I have not seen a protect from him just yet. But a protect into the Duraldon to taking out the Whimsicott would be huge. Or taking out the... I don't think he's taking out my uh, Conqueror. No way. Not a chance. He's thinking. He's thinking about a protect. You know he's sick of that. He's like, what do I do? What am I going to do? But he does not go into protect. The Tailwind does pop. My Conqueror should be able to outspeed now. Let's see what happens here. Is he doesn't get the speed. Yep, Drain Punch. How much damage are you doing? Did we take out? No, we do not take out, but that's a heaping amount of damage. A Mach Punch should be able to do the work there. It should be able to do the work. What's going to come in here now? Draco Meteor before he goes. Oh, my Conqueror. We are Assault Vested. We should have a little bit more tank to us. Let's see. Yeah, see. Assault Vest coming up big. That only does half. Now, who's he going to go into now? We'll take that thing out with a Mach Punch. And the Steel Smoke's going to pop over on my boy. Oh, on my Kong. Kongador eats, though. That thing's attacks down. Um, I'm going to charm it once again. Do I charm it once again, or do I... Uh... I'm, I say I fake tier that thing. I say I do fake tier that thing before the Whimscott goes out, and we mock Punch on that. Uh... Well, no, I know my Kongador out does outspeed, so we might as well go for a Drain Punch on the left side. Get some health back for my Kongador. And then just roll into a fake tiers on that Mudsdale. Drain Punch. Then we can fake tier that Mudsdale. I can totally see a Protect coming out, though. But still, we're going to drop this thing's defense here. We are going to drop this thing's defense. Let's see how this thing rolls out. We do have Water Spout, which will be a double hit move. In case he does Protect and take out my Conqueror. But let's see. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if he Protects. That would be the smart play, but... We're trying to get some health back. We're just going to play simple here instead of, like, overthinking everything. See? Here comes the Protect. That's fine. That is fine. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. Let's get it. Fake tears. Mwah! Get fake tier, boy. He's going to take out my Conqueror. But my Wimscott's going to slide across and take out that uh, Duraldon. Drain Punch is going to get blocked. Unless this thing's going for an EQ and just taking out everybody. No high horsepower comes through. Bye, Conqueror. Oh, Conqueror survived. Oh, no, he doesn't. The Sandstorm's coming through. <laughs> I was going to say, he's in here. He's alive. But he's not. Okay. Like I said, my Wimscott will get first turn priority. That thing's special defense is down in the dumps. It's down in the dumps. So Jelly Sand's going to roll in here. Water spout it. Take out that Duraldon if the Wimscott does not. And do some work on that minus four special defense. And the minus four, minus four special defense. I mean, does Water Spout go after that? Let's see. The lower the user's HP, the lower the power move is. Will, will that still help, or do I just roll into a Shadow Ball? I'm going to go for this just in case. Oh, honestly. And I'm just going to Moon Blast over on the Duraldon. Just make sure that thing goes. Just make sure it's done for. Because my Wimscott will get that first turn. Let's see. Moon Blast. Yeah, yeah, baby. This is a rather long match, but it's a good one. Filled with everything. Filled with everything. There we go. By the round down. We should be able to get this win. Pull it out. Get the W. Water Spout's going to pop here. How much damage is this thing going to do? Yeet. Yeah. Yes, sir. The minus four special defense comes in clutch for the win. Match one in the bag. Get that W, baby. That was awesome. Good match from us. We showed off the Charizard like I wanted to do. And now we can roll into battle number two and try to get another win. So this guy also has a Whimsicott. And he has a T-Tar. I can totally see him leading both of them. I, like, Charizard's my option again. Like, Charizard is the better option in this battle instead of the, the Duraludon. So I am going to go Charizard Whimsicott once again and get rolling from there. Because if he leads that Whimsicott and T-Tar, I'll let him set up a Tailwind for free. I really don't care. I would rather fake tier that T-Tar and just dump on it and just take it out of the game right off the rip Just end him there. And then who? Are we bringing in same squad? Like, this is looking good. Like, the same squad is looking good. Hmm. I think same squad's coming out here. Like, I want to show off that the rally down, but we'll probably show him off in battle number three. So, we're chilling. We're chilling. I think same squad is just a play. Like, Conqueror Jelly Scent. Just, they just work so well. That Conqueror usually comes in in most battles. 
in most battles. Because he's just such a good back-end Pokemon. Where did we go Kiss in the back? I mean, Kiss could help us out a little bit. Now I'm going to roll out with this squad. I'm going to roll out with this squad. We already have our setter up with that Whimsicott. Like, I'm telling you guys. I'm telling you. Like, the Charizard Whimsicott combo, if you if you know to play it, like, you got to play it. Like, it is so good to set up with it and just dominate. Like, some people don't expect the Charm or the Fake Tears on it. That's why it's so good. Like, it can just take out Pokemon. Like, just with, like, if you just Charm a Pokemon, that's going to take him out for most of the game. He goes Corviknight Whimso. Corviknight Whims. Um. Hmm. The thing is, does he swap into the Arcanine? I want to go for a G-Max Wildfire here. No berries. We can't eat berries. I want to go into a G-Max Wildfire, but if he's rocking out Arcanine, let me see his team again. If he is rocking out Arcanine, it could be Flash Fire. That could be scary. Or do I predict him going into something else? Eee! I mean, Air Slant. I say we uh, start boosting our speed and get the speed advantage right off the bat. I say we don't even go for that Corvid Knight and just have him potentially uh, give us a free swap and we set up the Tailwind. Because I think he's going to swap that Corvo into maybe the Arcanine. There it is. Good thing we slid across. We slid across. And here comes the Arcanine. Beautiful. Beautiful, baby. Nice little start for us. This is what I was thinking. I was like, this thing could potentially be a Flash Fire. But he's not Flash Fire. But he would have soaked that up. No problem. He would have soaked it up. No problem. So we're chilling. I got to watch that, uh, the Rockfall. He's probably rocking Rockfall. But I'm totally just going to fake tier it and dump it next turn. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I am going to fake tier it and then go into a Max Airstream on that. And just take it out. Because we will have the speed advantage. We're going to be plus one with the Tailwind. So even if he does play Tailwind, we will still totally outspeed that thing. Yes, sir. Let's go. G-Max Charizard coming into play. We read that one very, very nicely. I was thinking. I was just like, dude, there's no way you're starting off with that Corviknight. That Corviknight will just get dumped turn one. He will just get dumped turn one by a G-Max Wildfire. Well, let's go. Max Airstream. I'm planning on going Airstream, Airstream, and then into another Wildfire. Is he Sash? This thing is Sash. I mean, that's chilling. That's chilling. I'm not too worried about that thing. Here comes his Sash. I don't want to just take it out just yet. I'll just go for like a G Max Wildfire and have that take it out. But we are going to go for another Airstream over on the Arcanine. Get that stab damage, and then we're just going to fake tier to drop its special defense. Buy two and potentially take it out in one hit. We'll see. We'll see. Arcanine could be pretty tanky. Could be on the tanky side. Here goes our little bit of fake tears. <laughs> I love that move. I love it. He's staying in. He's staying in. Here we go. Coming at you, boy. Max Airstream, how much damage are we doing here? That's some good damage. That is some solid damage there. That is some solid damage. We're boosting our speed through the roof here. And then we can G-Max Wildfire to actually finish this battle up. And kind of get the flames going. Moonblast is going to come into my boy. To my boy, Whimsy. Whimsy eats, though. Are you doubling into my Whimsicott? That would be mean. That would be mean. My special attack does fall. And a wild charge is going to come on my Charizard. Charizard's going to eat, though. I would get the flames going. Oh, working on almost takes himself out. But I just want to get these flames on the field. Let's get the flames going. Our speed is fine. And then I'm going to just, uh... I'm going to just Moonblast over on this Arcanine. Because we will outspeed it and we can get the double kill. I think the flames still stay for the next turns like i think it's just it's a four turn thing i don't think it's just matters on the pokemon who are out there i believe even if they swap out the flames are still surrounding everybody that's why i like to get it off on this last turn it can last a little bit longer and it, and it can start pestering the other pokemon especially when he goes into his g-max form but dude this start this start this is what i said like i wanted to show off to the round on but this was just too strong it was just way too strong to just start going off in the beginning like i was just like i can't pass it up we're gonna dominate with it right off the rip though Corvo pops. That's chillin'. We're gonna outspeed. We're gonna go into a blast burn probably and just finish that thing off. Who's his next Pokemon? That's my question. He's probably gonna Dynamax. Yep, the Titar's gonna come through. Um, do I? No, I cannot. I do not have a Drought Roll. I do not have a Drought Roll. I still have Water Spouts. I gotta watch out for that thing. I think I'm just gonna start fake tearing that. Or I, I might. I'm just gonna start charming that thing on the left side. I am gonna start charming that thing, and I'm just gonna go into a nice blast burn because he's gonna take me out with a rock, probably a rock fall. He's gonna take out my Charizard. So I'm going to go for a Blast Burn to try to finish off this Corv Knight. Even though, like, Blast Burn hits for 150 base power plus stab damage. That's going to be huge damage on that Corv Knight. But I cannot move next turn. But I think he's going to take out my Charizard anyway. And then we're just going to roll out into a little bit of Charm. We're not going to trigger his weakness policy. We're just going to Charm him up and start dropping that thing's physical attack. Because you know he's Dynamaxing him. Unless he has G-Max Corv Knight, which psh, I would not even, like, expect that. Even if he did have G-Max Corv Knight, the T-Tar would still get it. Yeah, he's going to go into the Rockfall. That's an obvious play. But once we start charming this thing out, we can just start dominating. He's probably weakness policy. 
He's probably going weakness policy. The charm's gonna drop his attack by two, which is huge. Charm it doesn't affect him. Oh no! Never mind. Bad play. But blast burn. Can this one tap this thing? I think it should. Yeah. Bye, Corvo. <laughs> He's gonna take out my Charizard. Okay, charm does not affect that. So the best play would have been faked here. But now I know. He's from Max Rock Fallen. Here goes my Barry. We're dead. We are dead. Even with the Barry in the sandstorm, like it's night night. For us. Bye, Charizard. Thanks for coming. Doing your work, buddy. Yep, bye, Charizard. Okay. Uh, fake tears got a roll here. I'm surprised that the charm does not affect him. That is cool, though. That is cool, though. That charm does not affect him. Why is that, though? Why is that? Like, why is that? Tailwind does peter out. Uh, I'm gonna go Jelly Scent. I am gonna go Jelly Scent, even though he's probably gonna dump me. But I just see my Conquador doing a tons of work on him. Because. Ooh. Maybe I. No, maybe I should have went for the. Hmm. If I set up the Tailwind, I think we're just gonna drop that thing's. Uh, no, because he's gonna end me turn one. Unless I protect. Do I protect? I could trench that. Or I can set up Trick Room. Hmm. I could trench. Yeah, I'm gonna trench that, and I am going to fake tier. Or do I Tailwind this? I could totally Tailwind it and get the speed boost. That is exactly what I'm gonna do for later terms, and then we can uh, go into fake tiers. But hopefully, I don't think my Jelly Sense is gonna survive. I think he's gonna dump it with a Max Rock Fall. Because I, I believe it's super effective. Strength Sap does go first. Good thing we did Tailwind. The reason I am Strength Sapping is not for the HP. I want to drop this thing's attack. I want to drop it hard. Max Darkness coming in here. That's still his stab. How much damage is he going to do? Does that take us out? That is wonderful. That is wonderful. We're going to go for another Strength Sap and just dump this thing's attack out of here. Before I just start teeing off on it. Uh, I know I do outspeed. So I believe the fake tiers into the... The fake tiers into the water spout could be huge. And then we can totally just mock Punch it and take it out later. But the flames are still burning on. Dude, we're playing good. We're playing very well right now. Yeah, let's go into this. Into a fake tier. A little bit of double special defense drop into that. Okay, let's get it. It doesn't affect him either. What is this? What is this? Did I just trigger his weakness policy? That could be terrible. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Why does that affect? Why does that affect? If somebody knows, let me know in the comment section down below. I'm a little confused on that part. I am... A little bit confused on that part. It's kind of ruining all my things. Like, why does that affect Titor? Is it because it's typing? No, because, like, Move Blast affects him. I'm a little confused by it. I am totally confused by it, but we're going to go into our Confidor here. I guess we'll Moon Blast. This thing is... Oh, dude, this one's going to be a tough one. We should be able to outspeed him with the Tailwind, so I think Close Combat's going to be the call. Going to Close Combat Moon Blast. And potentially take him out. Potentially take him out. But yeah, if you guys do know why they don't affect them, let me know in the comment section down below. Is there like a terrain up or something going on? Kind of want to check. But it just straight up says that he doesn't, uh, it just doesn't affect them. Hmm. Let's see. Does the Sandstorm do something? Sandstorm, where the, at the end of each turn, it damages all Pokemon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Boost special defense. Boost the special defense of Rock type Pokemon. Okay. So, cool, cool, cool. Um, close combat. It's got to come in hot here. So, we're going to close combat into a Moon Blast. And try to finish off this battle. We should be able to outspeed. We should be able to outspeed. Moon Blast. Yeah, yeet. Get him. Get him, baby. His special defense is raised in the sandstorm. And how much damage is this close combat going to do? Take him out, baby. Do it. Do it. Let's go. 2-0. and 2-0 with this squad. We're going to be hopping into battle number 3. And trying to go 3-0. We're absolutely dominating with this team. Like I said, it is just such a strong team. But if you guys do know why that charm and fake tier doesn't work, seriously, let me know. I would love to know. Oh my lord, mirror matchup in battle number three. If you guys are here watching the third battle, make sure you leave a little hashtag third battle squad in the chat because my average watch time is about 10 minutes. It's about 10 minutes, so that's about the first match. So if you do make it to the third battle, give me a little bit of hashtag third battle squad in the comment section down below. But we are having a mirror matchup right here. Who are we going to go with? That is my question. I said we go Doraladon squad. I said we go Doraladon into Kiss. Doraladon Kiss into Jelly Scent Conqueror. Kind of leave that Wimscott Charizard out the way. Because if he leads that Whimsicott Charizard, I think we could just dump it with a Follow Me into a Max Lightning with our Duraldon. Do some work in that category. And if he tries to set up that Tailwind, we can always pop into our Jelly Scent, run a Trick Room. But if not, he's going to be running the exact same squad as me. <laughs> but look at his exact matchup. It is the same run through code this guy's using. Like I said, this team has been all over the meta. It has been all over the ladder, and it is the meta right now. Like It's just everybody's using it. Everybody is using it. They saw that Aaron won it with the Dallas, and it's just like, dude, this team's amazing. Which it is. It's a phenomenal team. Phenomenal team right here. But let's get it. Let's go, guys. Battle number three. Can we go three and out? 
I don't know. This is this is looking tough. A little mirror matchup. It's looking tough because he's rolling out with the same squad as me. He's gonna go Conquador into the kiss. Um, I can totally see a follow me coming out here. I can totally see a follow me. And I think a dazzling gleam. I mean, eh. we will outspeed. I think I can totally see a follow me. I think we're gonna roll into a protect dazzling gleam. I think that's exactly what we're gonna do. Cause I think it's, he's gonna go follow me into maybe like a drain punch on the, my Duraludon. So I'm not gonna Dynamax one or first turn, considering he's. I don't think he's gonna Dynamax first turn. Unless he Dynamaxes that Conqueror, which would be rather scary. He has a Soul Vested, so he should be able to eat up rather well. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Like I went to Dynamax my Duraludon, but it was just like, dude, I can't. I can't. Because you know the follow me is popping. We could have just Max Steel Spike that. But then, you know, the hard drain punch is flying through over all my Duraludon. So that's rather scary. So our Protect's going to come out here. I think we made the right call. I think we're going to see a follow me on his side. No, he's going to yawn. But we are protected. Ooh! And the Drain Punch is probably going to fly across, too. That's when Gleam goes first. Yeah, you. Yo, nice little damage. Nice little damage. Rock Slide's going to pop. Ooh, nice little Rock Slide on him. That's smart for him to go into the Rock Slide. Ooh, we avoided it. That's wonderful. Um, I know he outspeed. And what's that Togekiss holding? What's my Togekiss holding? <laughs> it's holding the, yeah, the Babiri Berry. Holding the Babiri Berry. So, Steel Moves will not do... It's going to be half, so... We're just going to the Lightning. We're going to the Lightning here. Because I can totally see another rock side. Do I Z-Max go into the lightning? He might try to yawn me again. So I might, I think I'm going to D-Max into the lightning. And I think I'm going to Helping Hand and just dump on this thing. Just make sure this uh, Tokus goes out the way. Because I don't want to get the, I don't want to get yawned and then have to fall asleep. And then we can yawn the Conqueror or the Charizard, whoever he's going to throw out. Actually, we cannot. We cannot because the terrain's out. The terrain is out. The terrain will be out, so yawns are no-goes. Yawns are no-goes. Hmm. A little struggling battle. I'm, I wouldn't say struggling. It's just different. When you're first in the same exact team, you have to play it like a totally different team. Like, you play... You're not... I'm not playing it the same way as I usually do. Here goes the helping hand. Hopefully, we can just dump on this Togekiss here. Togekiss is going to also helping hand. Ooh. 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 Scary, scary. Max Lightning comes out here. It, this should take out the Togekiss, no problem. Boop, see you later, Togekiss. And will he take out my Duraludon? Oh! If he goes for close combat, I kind of have no doubt in my mind that this Duraludon's gone. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Oh! This is scary. This is scary. Rain Punch. Ah! Okay, we eat. We eat. If, like I said, if that was a close combat, we were gone. We were gone if that was a close combat. Who's he going to roll out into now? Who's he going to roll out into now? I hope he does go Charizard. Because I'm going to send a follow me into... Ooh, a Duraludon. There's Duraludon action here. He's not rocking Charizard. Um, do I Worm Win it? Mm. Mm. Do I see his outspeeding? If I outspeed, I'm going to Worm Win Helping Hand once again. Like, we are the exact same. Like, it's exact same, so I don't know how that works. It's just, like, lucky roll the dice. But, like, <laughs> how's that roll? <laughs> how's that work? I think we're just going to go into this and then go into another helping hand. Or do I yawn on that thing? I think we're chilling if we just go into a helping hand. Let's see what happens. <laughs> this is just too funny. It is honestly too funny. Well, I think he's going to go for a mock punch, but do we think a mock punch is going to take out my Duraldon? It might. It might, in all honesty. It might, in all honesty. So maybe I wish we should have went for the Yawn onto the Duraldon and maybe just protect it and wasted a Dynamax turn. Oh, Conkodor gets the D-Max. So he's not going for a Mach Punch, so we will get a turn before him, which is huge. Which is huge. We will get a turn before him. We do have our Jelly Scent and our boy in the back, our own Conkodor. Which is fine. Go Helping Hand. Hopefully we do outspeed the Duraldon. Protecting. Okay. That's uh, smart. <laughs> smart here. Who's going to go after it? on this. Is he going to try to boost his attack stat? I think he's going for that. That's still a ton of damage. That is still a ton of damage. I see my Togekiss outspeeding. That is still a ton of damage. We're going to drop Conqueror's attack, so when he boosts it, it's gonna, just going to neglect it, which is huge. Groundon's going to lose HP, and the max Rockfall is coming in here. Going to probably take out my Togekiss here. I mean, he's minus one on the attack board. Let's see if we can eat. No, nope, still takes us out. Um, who does he roll out to from here? I, th I said we just roll into another max worm win. It's a crit. What you mean? <laughs> he gets a crit. The sandstorm's gonna roll. Um, hmm. 
Who do I roll from here? Do I roll my own Conkador? Or I could roll my own Conkador, go into a Mach Punch, take out that uh, the Raladon. I think that is the play. Pick out the Raladon with a Mach Punch. And then go for another Max Worm Wind to lower the Conkador's uh, physical attack. Once again. Ooh, we dude. This is a good battle. This is a really good battle. Conqueror coming after you. Mach Punch to guarantee us that first turn priority to, to take out this Duraldon. I believe it should take out the, the Duraldon. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. This is a good match. A nice little mirror matchup. Nice little mirror matchup. We're about to, it's about to be two and two. About to be two and two. Two Pokemon versus two Pokemon. After we take out this Duraldon, he's going to take out our Duraldon. I think we're going to go double Duraldon here. Dun, 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 dun. I think he's gonna try to boost his uh, attack with the max knuckle the mighty round on. Because he cannot protect again. This round on just did a protect. We still did a ton of damage with our max worm win with that helping hand while he was protected. Like if it was a super effective move, we would have just one tap the thing. Did he just No! No! No way! Did he just pull off a double protect? Didn't he just protect? Are you kidding me? Are you serious? You can't be serious right now. Like, did, you can't be serious. That's a double protect, right? That's whack. That is whack. Who are you taking out? He's taking out my Duraludon. No, he's going after my Conqueror. That's fine by me. That is honestly so fine by me. I'm going to go into a Draco Meteor into the Conqueror before we roll out. And another Mach Punch. That was a double protect, right? I'm trying to think. Did I miss something? He didn't go the last turn. Yeah, he didn't go. He double protected. What you mean? <laughs> oh my lord. How'd he pull that off? That was just like the luck of the draw there. He was like, I'm going to go for that. No, I do not want to go for Duraldon. I want to go for Conqueror. And then I want to go into a mock Punch again. And hopefully he doesn't protect again. I swear. If he does it and he pulls it off, I'll honestly laugh. That'd be hilarious. Especially this high in the rankings. It's like, in the Master Ball tier? And you're pulling that off? Like, that is totally just like a last resort effort there. Come on, baby. What you want? What you want? I forget. What's a... What's a... The Raladon's G-Max move? I can't even think of it. I don't even know what it does. But I would love to see, like, more G-Max Pokemon get into this game. Like, G-Max Gengar would be sick. Like, to come in into... Because I know he's banned right now. And just see all their different moves. Like, we have G-Max Lapras and all those good guys in there. But they're not getting no Showtime. There we go. Some nice damage over there. Before we go out, I know we're going to go out to the Buffets here. He's going to go into another Max Knuckle. Go to my Duraldon. Please go to my Duraldon. Thank you. For, you didn't have to. You didn't have to unless the Sandstorm was ending. Unless the Sandstorm was ending. That's chilling. We're chilling. Calendar's attack does raise. And we go into our Jelly Set. Well, 2v2 action. He is done. Yeah, you didn't even have to go after me. You could have just took some more damage to my Conqueror. So it might be a mirror matchup here. It might be Jelly Scent versus Jelly Scent versus Conqueror versus Conqueror. <laughs> Let's see who he brought. Who did he bring? Charizard. Wow. So we know he's outspeeding. I am going to go into the Protect because the Air Slash is coming. And we're just going to hit a nice little Water Spout. Like you know what's coming here. Water Spout. Yeah, ye. Oh, we do not have Protect. Uh, Mach Punch? I think Mach Punch into the Conqueror. I think Mach Punch into the Conqueror because we know he's Air Slashing and he's going to take out my Conqueror. You know that's coming. Like, that's a fact. So he might as well take out his, uh, or attempt to do some damage to his Conqueror. And then the Water Spout will definitely take it out. Mach Punch, yeah, yeah. Ooh, does not get it. Air Slash coming through. Obviously, we know what's happening. Oh, okay. Okay, we take those. We take those. <laughs> yes. Okay, you just gave us the free win. I think it would have been a struggle for us if you would have went for our... Uh... Now, nah, we were winning it either way. We were winning it either way, hands down. Because you, there's no way you're doing enough damage to my Jelly Scent to take him out in the next turn. Because the Water Spout would have took out that Conqueror. Yeah, we're chilling, we're chilling. We're chilling. He just could have took out my Conqueror. I think I think he like figured that like if he, he needs to get that Jelly Sun out the way. But now nah, we get that win. 3-0 with this wonderful team. With this wonderful team. This is why it's so good. This is why it is so good. I'm actually 3 and... Well, not in total. Not in total. I did a warm-up match before and lost that one. 
So we're actually three and one today with it. But I did play it on my stream and I was getting dumped with this team. Like you gotta learn it. You gotta learn it. Like I, I think I went like probably like, hmm, probably went like three wins, five losses with this team when I was streaming trying to learn it. But now I feel like I'm kind of getting into the groove of things and starting to learn this team a lot more. Let's get it. Absolutely dominated this recording. Went 3-0 with this squad. This team is phenomenal. Phenomenal. Aaron and Wolfie definitely built it so well and so perfectly. Like, this team's going to be in the meta for a little bit. You're going to be seeing it a lot, so I highly recommend using it. Make sure you check out Wolfie and Aaron in the link in the description below. All links to everything will be down there. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.